What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Garnet Tools. Today I have a review of the Knipex 8-piece precision snap ring plier set. Product number 002004SB. Now while Knipex is a German company with tools made in Germany, they do have USA distribu distribution as well as an American uh, warranty claim center. Each of the handles features the type located right there, the type of retaining ring this is intended for, the size this tool is intended for, the brand logo, the part number or product number for this specific pair of pliers and the words made in Germany. It also features the brand logo stamped into the metal. The set includes two small external retaining ring pliers. One straight, one at 90 degrees. Two large external snap ring pliers, one straight, 190 degrees. And that continues into the internal set of snap ring pliers. One large, straight, internal, 190 degree internal, large, small straight, internal, and finally a 90 degree. Now what I like about this set is that a few things here. You see the way this springs back. This particular as well as this four piece set here will always be an external snap ring plier. There's no messing around with small parts change, trying to change the tool and the way it operates. This operates the way it is and there's no way to change it. And I like that because you have a particular tool, a dedicated tool for your application. I also like the handles. They're uh, a bit textured. The grip is a like a rubberish, but still kind of resistant to uh, grease and grime. But I, I, I tend to prefer this type of handle. Knipex offers a uh, another style handle that is more of a uh, plastic, shiny plastic. With a, it's, it's a bit more slippery. So. Now, one of the things I do not like is that I don't believe Knipex makes a 45 degree uh, plier in this style so if you need 45 degree I guess this would not be the set for you but again I, I love this set you have your four internals which like I said are always internal and they feel they feel sturdy. Like I can clamp down on that thing and it's not it's not bowing. The tips or anything. So and if you can if I can get 
got something to show you a representation this the tips are bent in a certain way that makes it easier to retain a snap ring So for for these reasons I really this is this is my favorite set. Other other snap ring pliers or retaining ring pliers they'll you'll see them they'll be a little oblong or look have sort of a crazy shape. They come in a big box. And they have a crazy shape. They're pretty flimsy. I don't want to say flimsy. They're uh they're not all flimsy, but they are a thinner metal than what something like this is. Which is why I went with this brand, because they have thicker tips or uh, jaws to enable you to sort of, sort of abuse these. Because th th that flimsy snap ring pliers, I've used them before. They really work, don't work as well as these. So, there's also other designs of retaining ring pliers. Ones like this. And a tool like this really does a terrible job at retaining snap ring pliers when you remove them and it's pretty much down to that you see the play in the jaws I'm not even I'm not even moving the handle and you can see that play That's no bueno. So really, when you get in there and you start to spread in this case, or clamp in, the play in that jaw is, is going to do a pretty terrible job of retaining that snap ring. So, for, for a demonstration I have with me, Two tests. Here is a Craftsman half inch drive ratchet with a retaining ring in it. Go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. And here is a smaller 3H drive Craftsman ratchet with a retaining ring. I'm gonna get back to this one in a second, but I've the website lists the range of this tool, the Craftsman 47412. It lists the range, I believe, is down to like seven millimeters, and all the way up to 51 millimeters so I'm just using millimeters as a common denominator they do have the the size range listed in a fractional standard but I do not believe Knipex does but I verified that this is supposed to work I'm pretty sure these tips are the wrong size because they are the same in size and diameter as this tool. See if I can get you to, there we go. So if you can see, diameter of the tips are pretty similar. Yet, 
this tool lists the end of the range being 25 millimeters. So, I went ahead and measured the diameter of this, the outside diameter of this retaining ring here. And it is around 33 millimeters. So, this tool is supposed to work. If we take it, install it in the tool, That took some effort, but oh. as you can see, it doesn't do a good job of holding that retaining ring once you remove it. So, for fairness, I'll try to put it back in. Try that again. Uh. Uh. One more time and I'll give up. And if you see in my last attempt, I had to take particular care to make sure that snap ring or retaining ring reached its destination. So, we'll try it again with the Knipex. I've verified the diameter of the tips are similar in size. So, again, this is a 33 millimeter snap ring. First try. That's not going nowhere. And I really have no fear of it going anywhere. So in my eyes this Especially when I use the incorrect tool to remove this snap ring, this is a better tool than that Craftsman. So, for fairness, I'll put it back on the table. Again, still the incorrect tool. Pick it up. Put it back in. No problems whatsoever and if you can see if I switch to the correct tool the 19 through 60 millimeter it has no problem as well as the other pair with removing this retaining ring So, for another demonstration, I'll go ahead and switch to what would be considered the correct size for this tool, which is this 3 8 drive ratchet from Craftsman. It, I measured this retaining ring as well, and it comes in at around an inch, a little under, and that's about the limit of the range on marked on this tool 25 millimeters so mind you this is advertised that it works to 51 millimeters I'll go in here Now the tip size would be correct for this size of 
snap ring. You can see it's kind of a challenge. I'll go ahead and angle it down in case it wants to So it worked with that test. Just try to put it back in. Again, I'm doing this because when you're in the professional world or you need to get something like a retaining ring, you need to not worry about losing this because maybe you don't have another one. Losing this part may require you to stop your entire job in some cases and figure out how to retrieve a new one because you lost this one because this tool can't hold it. There you go. So Let's try again. Oh. That's no bueno. So let me quit messing around and I'll actually try to put it in. Now mind you, this is the correct size for the tips. And I have to take particular care so this retaining ring doesn't go flying on me. Okay, see it. So and that's the quality you get with a tool like this. So to take the, again, the same size, correct diameter this time, get in there. By the way, I'm using the 90 degree because the 90 degree is the uh, only tips I have remaining. Get in there, pull it off. Can't shake anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere because this is a Canipix plier. It's a quality tool. And it's got fixed heads. So, I'll put it on the table. Pick it back up. And again, I have no worry that this snap ring is going to go flying because it's a quality tool with quality tips. Seated. So. Now, I know I, you're able to pick this set up for around uh, 150 bucks on Amazon or something like that. I'll leave links in the description where you can find this set, but this set is amazing. It's amazing. Once you switch to a tool like this, which is always going to be one, one uh, use only, one application per tool per plier you love it 
You don't have to fumble with anything else. You pick up the tool you need and you use it. Then you put it back. You don't have to worry about how it's configured when you pick it up out of your toolbox or out of the box it came in to see, to make sure you're going the right way. This is always external and this is always internal. So, with that said, I'll leave links in the description where you can find this set for much cheaper than what I picked it up. It was like 188 for me, but I'll leave links. Make, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.